This is Take the Leading Style, and I'm your host, The Zakonovis. Last time we talked about the Destiny Code. We tried to introduce it, but this time we're going to go into it in depth. So what is the Destiny Code? The Destiny Code is an idea, business, and product roadmap to help you take your idea to fruition, giving you the steps to follow and ensure that you can replicate the success process. So we broke it down and I'll summarize it again. The D is for dream, define, and design. The E is for estimate. The S is for systemize. The T is for test. I is for innovate. N is for network. And Y is for yardstick. So today, we are going to focus on the D. Dream, define, and design. So what is a dream in business? In business, a dream is simply a possible solution that is available in the future and it has economic returns. So a dream could be as simple as people need cakes, I want to bake a cake. People need water, I want to supply water. The most important question you need to answer first is the question of what is the need? You have to identify a need so we have able to have a dream in business because in business it is value that is exchanged if there is no need there is no need for a value to be exchanged you cannot create a product or a need that doesn't exist so my question to you is what is the need you are striving to fill what is your business dream opportunities are bound around you every day things you can fix things you can make happen. It's as simple as helping people move things from one place to another. The most important thing is you must identify a need. So I know you're saying you're broke now and you don't know what to do. There's tons of things you can do. What is around you that is a need that people are willing to exchange money to have them solved? That is your business dream. Have you identified a dream now? I can see you scribbling on your notes. Have you identified a dream? What dream have you identified? Now, the interesting thing about a dream is that if you are going to create a business dream, it must be for a people, which brings us to the second D, which is define. Define who this product you have designed or this service you are designed is for. Who is your product for? What appeals to them? I'll give you a good example. Have you tried to sell mink four coats in Nigeria? I can assure you, it's a business dream, but not for the right people. Because over here, we don't have winter. We don't get so cold that we need to wear things that thick. So yes, I know you have a great product. You have a great idea. But my question in defining who it is for is, who is your solution going to help? Are you building a global business or a local business? Because the geography between you and your market is very important. So in defining who your customer is, you must understand them. What do they need? How do they need it? What are they willing to pay? And how long would they need it for? Because you also have to answer the question of, business longevity if what you are offering right now is a video cassette i can tell you that you have a product yes but i don't think you have a market that is existing because not too many people want that product right now so in defining you must understand what they want when they want it and how they want it finally you now design your solution so i have identified that I can make cakes with groundnut in it. That's my business need. Who would buy such a cake? Will it appeal to a more young and upbeat market? Or will it appeal to an older market? I've defined my market. Now I'm selling to students in the university environment. So I begin to design my solution. I start to locate my business within the proximity that they can easily reach me. For example, if I was a student, it's easier for me to sell to students. 
So in the interim, my solution is designed to appeal to students. I try to sell them this cake. So it's their birthday or it's somebody's graduation. I say, look, let's do something different. I make cakes with granuts in them. You begin to design the solution. You begin to ensure that the solution is one that is interesting to them. So to make it interesting to a young market, for example, you say, you know what, young people like colors. I'm going to make the cake very colorful with icing. But the most important thing is you have to design the solution to suit the market. So what have we learned? We have learned that you have to have a dream, which is a business need you have identified that you want to fix. And then you have to define who that dream is for. So what does that person need and is willing to exchange money for? What do you have to provide that person? That brings you to the last part of the D, which is design. Then you design a solution, a business, a service, a product that meets that need and the person is willing to exchange money for it. Until I come your way next time, I am the Zakonomist and I want you to take the lead in staff.